Make today iconic. What is up, guys? It's Upcom Sports back with another realistic rebuild here on my channel. In this one, we're doing the Minnesota Timberwolves after the Jimmy Butler trade. If you guys don't know the exact trade, it was Jimmy Butler and Justin Patton to the Sixers for Robert Covington, Jared Bayless, Dario Saric, and a second round pick, I believe. But here are the settings that we're going to be using. You guys probably already know them. If you're new, just know that I do use Trade Override to add some more realism. I can make my own trades that I think are fair for both teams. 2K doesn't really allow that, so we'll be on our way. Here's the roster. Carl Anthony Towns, obviously the franchise corner piece of this team. Wiggins, still a very good option. Very good scorer on the defensive side. Not Doesn't have that much uh, versatility, but... He can definitely play defense when he wants to. They've also got some really good young pieces like Joshua Kogi has been getting a lot of minutes in real life. Derrick Rose, we all know he had a 50 point game. He's been balling out. We're probably, we are gonna start him at point guard and Jeff T can come off the bench. But let's see what happens in this season. So Russell Westbrook's gonna win MVP for the Thunder. And Rookie of the Year went to Luka Doncic on the Mavericks, Tyreek Evans, sixth man, Kawhi defensive player, and Aaron Gordon most improved, with Billy Donovan being the coach of the year. Let's see if uh, Carl Anthony Towns made a team. It looks like he did not. But Robert, Co Robert Covington is on the all-defensive second team. Pretty good defensive numbers right there. A steal and a block per game. So that's pretty good. We barely made the playoffs as an eight seed. And we were under 500, so I don't know how that makes sense, but I did not expect to make the playoffs. We'll be playing the number one seeded Thunder. I don't know how the Thunder got the one seed over the Rockets and the Warriors, but they did. Towns with a pretty solid season, averaging a double-double. Uh, Andrew Wiggins, 17 points per game. I expected more like 20, but that's okay. Derrick Rose, pretty good numbers as a starter. Covington and Sarge also very solid. Okogi, very good rookie season. So here in the first round, we are actually down 3-1 to one to the Thunder. And in this game, we are going to lose. So we're going to be knocked out in five games to the Thunder. Russell Westbrook, we obviously know what he can do. Uh, Paul George also on the team with Steven Adams. Towns had a pretty nice game in that game five, but it wasn't enough. So the Thunder actually made it to the finals. They'll be playing the Raptors. Let's see what happens. 2-1, 3-1 Thunder, 4-1 Thunder, and Paul George finals MVP. And with the 17th pick in the 2019 NBA draft, the Timberwolves are going to take Jalen Hands, point guard out of UCLA. Very athletic, has a lot of potential. He's just a very raw prospect, so we'll have to work on his game. And in the second round, we're going to take a power forward from Croatia. Also another project player. Probably he'll be in the G League for this season. But we do need a backup four and he can progress into that possibly. So here's the roster for this next season. Carl Anthony Towns is a 93. Wiggins an 85. Sarge and Covington will probably still start. And we are going to send Jalen Hands and Lucas Semanic. To the G League so they can progress a little bit and maybe get some minutes next season. But Wiggins is going to start at shooting guard. Covington small forward, Sarge power forward, Towns, and also uh, Jeff Teague. So in this season, Giannis is going to win the MVP on the Bucks. RJ Barrett on the Hawks Rookie of the Year. Schroeder six man. Giannis also defensive player. And Derrick Rose most improved on the Magic. We were going to sign him back but he was asking for $18 million a season. And I wasn't prepared to give him that much money. So obviously the Magic needed a point guard. And they gave him his money. And he produced for them. So it's a win-win for them. Towns on the All-NBA third team. Averaging some pretty good numbers. But Covington also on a defensive team again this year. Very good from Robert Covington. And we made the playoffs again. This time as a higher seed. So we'll be playing a tougher opponent. Actually, we played a tougher opponent last season. Actually, we're playing the same team, so we'll be playing the Thunder in the first round again. Looking to get past them for the first time. Here you guys can see the stats. So this year, we're actually putting up a better fight. 3-2 right now in this series. 
3-3, so we'll be going to a game seven. Wiggins with 21 points. And Sarge also stepping up in this game. Westbrook, we all know what he's been doing in these in this playoff series, actually. But we are going to lose in seven games. Looks like Schroeder off the bench with a huge game for the Thunder. Westbrook didn't really shoot that good from the field. Towns, 20 rebounds, 20 points. Also not enough. Wiggins didn't really step up. So it's going to be a Celtics Warriors finals this year. Leslie was going to take it all. Warriors up 3-0 and they sweep the Celtics. KD finals MVP. And with the 23rd pick in the 2020 draft, we're going to take Lance Barker out of New Mexico. So he'll be a nice shooting guard. We might have to trade him if we're trying to win now, but we'll see how he progresses. And right here, we're going to be trading Gorgie Jang's horrible contract, now on a one-year deal. He's a 79 overall and a second-round pick for a backup point guard in Patty Mills to the Cavs. Both on one-year deals, so it kind of makes sense. So here's the team for this season. Towns now a 94 overall, Wiggins at an 85, Sarge at an 82. Jalen Hands did improve in the G League, so he is going to be the starter for this season. And Patty Mills will back him up. So here's the rotation. Wiggins still at shooting guard. Covington and Sarge also starting. Okogi going to be a big role this season, so let's see what happens. So the MVP this season is Stephen Curry. I believe that's his third. Quentin Grimes for the Clippers, Rookie of the Year. Dennis Schroeder, Sixth Man. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player. And Steve Kerr, Coach of the Year. Let's see if Towns made another All-NBA team. He did, this time on the second team, averaging 23 points per game. And almost 12 rebounds, 11.4. Also got two blocks per game, so pretty nice from him. Covington, again, on the All-Defensive Second Team. So he's been on the second team pretty much every year. Jalen Hands. Okay numbers for a rookie. Shouldn't expect too much from him. He did spend uh, last year in the G League, obviously. But we are going to miss the playoffs here. I don't know how. We had kind of the same record. Actually, I think we were better than last year. Or the, the year before that. But here are the stats. Sarich, uh, 13 points per game. Covington, not really scoring too much. But the defense helps out. So it's going to be a Raptors-Warriors finals in the third season. Let's see who's going to take it all. 2-2, 3-2, Raptors in six. So we do have a lottery projected pick, and we don't get the number one pick, sadly. And here with the 14th pick, we're going to take best available. Shooting guard Rick Park out of Missouri State. We might trade him for an actual shooting guard that's NBA ready right now. So here we're going to be making a big trade. Robert Covington, we're going to have to trade him. Even though I like his defense, we also signed Tyler Johnson and Rick Park, the guy that we just drafted, and a future first-round pick unprotected for Bradley Beal. The Wizards need to blow it up at this point. They haven't done anything. I believe they haven't made the playoffs since 2018, 2017, something like that. But yeah, they need to start over. So here's the roster after that trade. Towns, Bradley Beal, Andrew Wiggins, who can now move back to the small forward position. And I like that fit better. He's not really a shooting guard because he doesn't really shoot the ball exceptionally well. Bradley Beal is a typical shooting guard. And here's the rotation. Jalen Hands is improving. He's obviously going to have a bigger role in the season. So let's see what happens. So Giannis is going to win the MVP for the Bucks. Uh, we don't know the rookies, so Dennis Schroeder, sixth man. And LaMelo Ball is on the Pelicans. That's a really good fit alongside Anthony Davis. I'm not sure how LaMelo is going to pan out, but I'm excited to see how he's going to, or who's going to take him in the draft and how he's going to progress. But you guys saw their Towns again on an all-NBA team. Dude's a beast. Timberwolves again. We made the playoffs. So we're on a nice roll making the playoffs every season. We just got to get past the first round. And again, we're playing the OKC Thunder. That's pretty funny. But hopefully we can actually beat them this time. 
there you guys see Towns' numbers. Bradley Beal, not too bad, 18 points per game. And Wiggins, about 17. So Jalen Hands improving from last season, getting those assists. So here in the first round, we're in another Game 7 against the OKC Thunder. Let's see if we can actually get it done this time. It is in OKC. Coming down to the wire, we do have the lead in the fourth. Two minutes left, still have the lead. And we lose on a last second shot. I don't know what happened there. We were up with like 30 seconds left. But would I, we'll check out the game log, see who hit the game winner. But that's very heartbreaking. Let's check out the game log. And looks like Okogi missed a three to win the game. But Paul George hit a big three there. So the Thunder again getting to the NBA Finals, this time against the Jimmy Butler Sixers. So let's see who's going to win. And the Thunder end up sweeping them. So here we're going to be making a small trade for a backup point guard. We're going to be trading our young shooting guard and also Cameron Payne, who we signed as a free agent, for Carson Edwards, who's progressed into a nice uh, backup point guard for the Spurs. So here's the roster. Towns is now a 96 overall, probably the best center in the league. Bradley Beal, Wiggins, Jalen Hands is progressing every season. Josh Okogi at an 80 overall now. Um, here's the rotation. Jalen Hands starting at point. Bradley Beal, Wiggins, Sarich, Towns. We might start Kata Bates D up next season because he's doing really well off the bench. So the MVP this season is Stephen Curry again. That would be his fourth. Um, I'm not sure who that rookie was. Dennis Schroeder, six man. Giannis, defensive player. And Steve Kerr again, coach of the year. Towns this time on the All-NBA first team, averaging 23 again and nearly 13 rebounds per game. So that's going to be nice for us in the playoffs if we can go to him every time. But checking out the standings, we were the number two seed in the West. Very impressive. Let's check out who we're playing. We're actually not playing the Rockets. I believe we're playing the Grizzlies, but the Rockets did add DeAndre Ayton. I don't know how they pulled that off. Maybe they traded Capella for Ayton. I don't know, but Jalen Hands, again, another better season. Let's see what happens. Checking out the team stats, we were actually the second best team in the NBA. On offense, we were the fourth best team, and defensively, we were the number one team. So here in the first round, we're up 3-2 to two on the Memphis Grizzlies. So let's see if we can take them down here in six games. It's going to be important to get out of the first round. I think if we get out of the first round here, we can go very far. And we do end up winning, so we're going to be winning in six games. Towns with a double-double game. Pretty much he's a walking double-double. But let's check out this Grizzlies team. They had Laurie Markkinen. I don't know how they have him. They have Miles Bridges as well. This game's broken, but still beat him. And for the millionth time in this video, we are down 3-1 to one to the Thunder. I don't know. And we end up losing in five games, but I don't know how the Thunder have our number and we can't even... I mean, we've took them to seven games twice and lost. The Thunder just are unbeatable in this game, at least for us. But you guys can see there, they have Gordon Hayward now. They must have traded Paul George. So it's going to be a Bucks warriors finals. Let's see who's going to win it. Warriors up 3-0, 3-1, and they win in five. So this team is pretty much set. We're not really going to make any more moves from here on out unless we absolutely have to. Obviously, if we don't make the playoffs, then we're going to have to make another big move. But if we keep making the playoffs and competing, then there's no need to actually make a big move. Just some small moves. Pretty much the same rotation. Jalen Hans, Bradley Beal, Wiggins, Sarich, and Towns. So in this season, Giannis is going to win the MVP. It seems like him and Curry are just switching on and off MVPs. But how, wait, how did Aaron Gordon win most improved again? I don't get that. Okay, we'll, we'll, let it, we'll let it slide, but standings-wise, again, we were the number two seed in the West. 
So we're up there with the best team. We just got to get it done in the playoffs. This time we're playing the Houston Rockets. Another tough matchup in the first round. So we've been playing OKC and now Houston, Memphis. Very tough matchup. Bradley Beal now is the top scorer with Towns averaging. His averages went down a little bit, but that's fine. And checking out the team stats again. On offense, we were number four and defensively number three. So here in the first round, we're up three to one on the Houston Rockets with a comfortable lead. So let's see if we can get it done. We do win in five games. Towns with a huge game. Another double-double. Pretty much he's gotten a double-double every game. So he does average a double-double, so it makes sense. Harden, not with his best series. Kevin Love actually joined the Rockets. And they also have DeAndre Ayton, but no Chris Paul. So here in the second round against the Lakers, we're up 3-2 to two in this series. And they just won that game, so there'll be a game seven here against LeBron. Very dangerous. We all know what LeBron can do in the fourth and in a game seven. So there you guys can see the stats of that game. Towns with a, another big game. Bradley Beal also with a big game, but game seven in Minnesota. Can we get it done for the home fans? They do have the lead in the fourth. We're going to hop in. So here in this game, the Timberwolves are down three to the Lakers. They do have the ball. Towns gets a bucket. Easy. I'm actually not controlling the Timberwolves, if you didn't already notice. Um, we're going to let it play out. But they do need a stop here. Down one. They're probably going to go to LeBron. They're Wow, they're not going to LeBron. LeBron with the pick. Javon Carter has the ball. They're still not going to LeBron. Javon Carter with a dumb shot. Gets blocked. Towns dribbling up the court. Pulls up. And hits it. I don't know if that was the smartest shot by Towns. But he drilled it. So up one for the Timberwolves. Lonzo with the ball. Good feed. And he finds LeBron for the dime. So here LeBron. I mean Lonzo is going to shoot some free throws. He missed the first one, missed the second one. So Timberwolves are going to have a chance to extend the lead. Bradley Beal for three, and he hits it. Bradley Beal, just such a clutch three-point shooter. So now the Timberwolves are up two. And LeBron driving in. They double-team. Javon Carter gets the ball. Javon Carter still with the ball. Lonzo to LeBron. A double-team again. Javon Carter wide open. He hits it. Yep, Javon Carter's a very, very solid three-point shooter. At least in college he was. But they're going to probably go to Towns here. One-on-one -on -one against Steven Adams. What's he going to do? Post move. And he gets the layup. Lakers call timeout. Lonzo with the ball. Gets it into LeBron. They double-team. Lonzo doesn't shoot it. Back to LeBron. Fade away. And he missed it. So Timberwolves up one. Sarge has the ball. Tries to find inside. Turns the ball over. Huge mistake by Sarge. So the Lakers are going to have a chance here. LeBron. Cannot hit the shot. Good defense there from Sarge. Not the best defender, but very good play right there. Jalen Hands. Big free throws. First one is good. Jalen Hands. Second free throw is also good. Lakers going to have a chance here. Down three. Who are they going to get it into? They try to get to Lonzo. And the Timberwolves are going to get the ball back. Lonzo turns the ball over. So now they just got to hit some free throws. And this game is over. Get it to Jalen Hands again. Can he hit the two again? First free throw is good. Second one to ice the game. So here are the stats. LeBron James, 37 points. Tried his best in that game seven. But his second leading scorer was Elio Kobo with only 16. Bradley Beal led the Timberwolves in scoring with 22 points. Wiggins had 19 and Towns had a double-double. So here in the conference finals, yet another game seven. This time against the Warriors. So let's see if we can get it done. And we are getting blown out here by 20 points. 
So looks like the run's gonna be over here, but we'll hop in, try to get a little bit of gameplay. So this game is over. We're just gonna try to get some buckets here with Towns. A little pop, pick and pop. Towns, not the best shot in the world. Doesn't go in. It's all right, we're already down like 50 points to the 40 year old Golden State Warriors. Still have all their pieces somehow. But yeah, Curry's still a god. Clay Thompson obviously can still hit shots. Even at this age. Jalen Hands, nice move. Can't get it to go in. But let's see what happens. And somehow he makes that layup. Let's see if Jalen Hands can get a bucket here. We'll try to get a mid-range shot. Oh, that was way off. So here are the stats. Jamal K, I don't know who that is. Lead, led the team in scoring 24 for them. They didn't do all that well, but they still did better than us. So Wiggins, pretty nice game. Towns didn't shoot too well. Jalen Hands also didn't shoot well. So it's going to be a Hawks Warriors finals. Don't ask me how the Hawks made the finals, but they did. I think they have R.J. Barrett and Trey Young, so kind of makes sense. But the Warriors are going to win. So that's going to do it for this rebuild. Let me know what you guys thought of this team. Let me know what you guys thought of the moves. Were they realistic or not? Also, comment down below what you thought of the Timberwolves trade with the Sixers. Do you think they won it or do you think they lost? Or was there no winner? And make sure to subscribe for some more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Never get to me. Bring out the brains truck. I'm young, flying ice cup. Honey yard dash. I had to run my price up. Bust your life up.